Welcome again to another edition of Drummer Nation. This is another very special edition in that we have a birthday greeting for a very special drummer. But before we get to that, please welcome my co-host, esteemed drummer and partner in crime, Adam Nussbaum. Hello, Adam. How are you? I'm good, Michael. How are you doing? Good. You're on the heels of some travel, right? Where, where, where oh, you, yeah. Where'd you, know. you go? What'd you do? Well, last week I was uh, very happy to play with an old colleague of mine who uh, we've got a lot of history, Eliani Elias mm. and uh, Mark Johnson. We played at the Kennedy Center on Friday night for the Mary Lou Williams celebrating her life. And that was uh, very enjoyable. And uh, then Sunday morning, I played a jazz mass at a, a church on Madison Avenue, and that was a, a fun project as well. So it's nice to have the variety, you know, playing in a church, you gotta be careful. Was it a reading volume. gig or a blowing gig? What was the church thing? Well, there was, it was a jazz mass that somebody had written. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we had different movements that we played. It was simple, very simple. And it was with a wonderful pianist named Simon Mulligan who I've done some projects with, along with a bass player, uh, Mark Lewandowski, who I'd never played with. But, you know, it's, hi, how you doing? What do we got? We had a quick run through mm -hmm. and it was very enjoyable well, and just bring people together, you know? Yeah, sure. Great. Good for you. Good for you. Now, yeah, I did so. catch your uh, your appearance on uh, my buddy John DeChristopher's show, live from my drum room. Uh, right. with Adam Nussbaum and I mean man, it was a great show you did a great job thank you very much uh, of course John's great at pulling pulling these things out of the artist but uh, there were a lot of what what has been known to be uh, what do they call them A-bombs or I call them Nussbombs B-O-M-B-S <laughs> my favorite being uh, the uh, spittly ding with the ickety boom <laughs> There you go. <laughs> and, and you've got dozens of them that good. So uh, anyway, I enjoyed that. I encourage anybody to watch that. Uh, it's, it's you know where to find him. Podcast and YouTube, Facebook, all that stuff. John DeChristopher. Right. Show. Live from the drum room with John DeChristopher. And it's mm -hmm. also a podcast. Uh, and then it's on. Yeah. YouTube yeah, he does what I do. Everything. We put him on everywhere yeah. we can. Yeah. And, it's uh, it's a good thing. And, uh, you know, he he's an old friend. I remember when he first started working at Zildjian and a very good guy was involved there with artist relations and a, a good man. And it was, uh, you know, my, my privilege to be part of the esteemed roster of people that he's had. So well, I was happy certainly for that. I've earned that spot there. And I, I knew him as a competitor when I had a different symbol company and I always had great respect for him. We were always cordial and friendly and uh, I think the world yeah. was ready. Along he's a most, good man, and he never ages. I know, yeah. He's got a picture of himself <laughs> on a wall that gets older, I think. But, uh... Ah, Dorian Gray. <laughs> <laughs> Memphis Drum Shop is the world's premier provider of percussion instruments. With six showrooms of gear, MySymbol.com, the Memphis Gong Chamber, and a first-rate repair department, turn to Memphis Drum Shop for all your percussion needs. Anyway, another thing coming up is you and I, before we get to the, the, the big feature here, you and I are going to Chicago this week. Uh, you're a clinician. I'm being interviewed about the symbol business. So we're going to have some big fun there. Wow. That'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, it's really a, a real fe a feast for drummers and collectors. You know, somebody said it's like drum porn. You know, you're going to have all kinds of collectors there, all kind of people showing things, selling things. And uh, and it's infectious. It brings everybody together. But huh? it's, inf it's infectious. The first time oh, I went, yeah. some guy said, look, look, I finally got one. What, what is that? Well, it's a piece of a, you know, a Jock Capel hi-hat from 1982. Or so, you know, I've been looking for it for 20 years. It looks like a piece of junk to everybody else. But you start to get into this, man, because all the people are so excited about it all aspects of drums and drumming and what kind of bearing edges they have and the, the lug casings and the, you know the, everything about the drum where prior to that i was just a drummer i just played them i never gave much thought to that stuff well there are a lot of people out there that are real drum fanatics and uh yeah it'll it'll be fun it's always nice to uh 
get with other members of this community and I'm going to do a, a, a clinic there and I'm, I'm basically going to be talking more about working as a drummer and being a good musician more than just, you know, nuts and bolts. A lot of people have the nuts and bolts, but people got to think about why did they get a gig? <laughs> I was going to ask you where you're going with this, and that's where I presumed you would go. That's perfect. There's no shortage of stuff on the internet about people with amazing jobs, just just kids that can just... But what you're talking about is more important. Well, you know, the, the things that are going to get you to be an attribute to a musical situation, really, you know, chops only give you enough facility to hopefully express musical ideas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... You have to remember, you know, what's who's controlling what? Are the chops controlling you? Or are you using them to facilitate making music with others? I right. mean, I see all these people on YouTube now. They're faster than a speeding bullet. It's like, yeah, but can you play with people? Can you make it feel good? Can you get the spittle a ding with the higgity boom? You know? There it is. There it is. There it and is. That's, that's ultimately the most important part we all know. Right. So I'm gonna. I'll be in the front row watching your clinic. Okay. Okay. But, no tomatoes, please. <laughs> I'll be the one asking the inappropriate questions. No. Please. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, everybody. How you doing? This is Bobby A. And today I wanted to tell you about how much I really love the Hudson Music Digital app. Okay. Now check it out. It's an app that you can get for your device, and you can purchase books from the Hudson Music Digital Store and have them stored right on your device. The great thing about it is you always have it with you and any content that might be video related or music related is right there at your fingertips. It's a wonderful resource. All right, so the feature of the day is we did a show last last time with the great Billy Cobham and um, he was so generous with his time and so eloquent that we went on for maybe an hour and I don't think we got past Bitches Brew, right? Which is those recessions he did in the late 60s, early 70s. So we have a lot more to ask him and uh, he's agreed sure. to come back. But he is traveling the world and moving at the speed of light as, as he always does. However, tomorrow is his 80th birthday. His 80th birthday, and I, you and I both thought that this was a big deal and we should do something about it. So on short notice, I asked a bunch of drummers if they would submit a little a little something, something, wishing Billy a happy birthday. Now, the list is totally arbitrary. It's guys I knew. It's guys that I thought that, that could respond, that did respond in short notice. And um, guys I thought, you know, would owe a lot to Billy Cobham, specifically. N not that we all don't. But, you know, guys who may have played bigger kits or more kind of fusion music. So anyway, let's play that, okay? Sure, I'm looking forward to it. Billy Cobham, you not only changed the world of drumming, but you made the world a better place. Thank you for all of the incredible inspiration, the incredible drumming, and um, you're playing better than ever, and I can't wait to wish you a happy 90th birthday, but for now, Happy 80th birthday. Sending lots of love from California. Happy birthday, Billy. Thank you for changing our lives, turning the drumming world on its head, and changing music and changing the world forever. Have a great birthday from V. Hey, Billy. You've been such a huge inspiration and influence on me going all the way back to 1974 in Boston, Paul's Mall, the first time I ever witnessed you playing live in the room. It was your Crosswinds band with Mike and Randy Brecker, John Abercrombie, Alex Blake, and Milto Levia of incredible music and transformative for me that night to hear you play, to watch you play, and so on, all the way to the present. I've been following your music, seeing you live, and I feel fortunate to get to, I've gotten to know you over the years. So happy birthday and much love from Steve Smith. You take care. Hey, Billy, Dave Weckel here. Hey, man, just want to wish you a big, huge happy birthday. 
sending you much love to you and yours and just to thank you so much man for being such a great inspiration influence on me and so many other drummers around the world man when spectrum and then crossroads came out those records were on constant rotation me trying to figure out all your great stuff so you're still a huge inspiration inspiration for me today and uh i love you man so happy happy birthday Mr. Billy Cobham, happy birthday. Todd Zuckerman here, wishing you all the best. Thank you for all the music, all the inspiration, and what a thrill and ultimate pleasure it was for me to share the stage with you a few years ago at Drum Fantasy Camp in Chicago. Anyway, wishing you love, health, and happiness. Happy birthday. Hi, Billy. Chad Wackerman here. Just want to wish you the happiest of birthdays. Um, I know it's a milestone one, and um, I just also want to thank you for all the amazing music and inspiration you've given me and so many other other musicians um have a great great time on your birthday and hope to see you soon buddy bye hi bill rob wallace here i just want to wish you a very happy 80th birthday what a fantastic achievement and i can't wait to get started with you on our new project and again all the best for your birthday i hope it's wonderful and keep doing what you're doing we love you all right speaks for itself doesn't it wow yes amen. amen amen when you can get that many cats that heavy to take time out of those schedules wherever they are in the world to talk about billy cobham uh, one thing i'd like to add though is those were guys with big kits and have been fusion drummers but i think anybody playing a four-piece kit doing bebop owes a lot to billy cobham this cat was such a a force on the scene. I mean, when you first see him playing with Horace Silver, he was using a small kit. Mm -hmm. And then as the music was changing and things that he got involved with, he expanded it. And uh, he just was able to utilize everything in such a musical manner. And uh, a real force. I mean, I know for me, when I saw Mahavishnu Orchestra after that first Intermounting Flame record came out, I'd already heard him with Dreams, which was kind of like the precursor to the Crosswinds band, because mm -hmm. it was Mike and Randy Brecker and Abercrombie. And uh, man, when I heard that record, it was amazing. But then seeing Billy live, you know, <laughs> it literally blew me away. And... Uh, Every time I've heard him, it's always been with such a, it's always been so inspiring. So, uh, amen for him. And it's nice to see people that have maintained their longevity. You know, just not just say, a sprinter, but somebody who's been on the marathon. I was just going to say, and, we uh, saw him in the mid seventies, man. That's a long time yes. ago. And he was a young gun and and killing it and changed the music for everybody. But he's 80, man, and he's still playing his ass off. Well, if he doesn't know what he's doing by now, there should be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're 80, it's not a question of knowing, but being able to, you know, and, and he yeah, he looks yeah. great. He's buff, he's fit, he, he he's uh, playing, this, this, like Peter said, better than ever. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a real privilege when you get to be around the elders that have only gotten better with time right and uh you know you may not have a certain amount of speed or things that you might have when you were younger but you got more savvy going on you know the wisdom of experience is something that just comes with mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. and well, uh god bless them god bless you billy when we yeah. get you back billy we're going to get more into your style and your technique and and open-handed thing and the amazing speed and, and the amount of drums and, and your recordings on your own name and with others. Uh, like I said, we could do another hour with that man easy. Uh, if you're in Chicago, check us out. Hang the, hang with us, man. It's a stone groove. It's it's the biggest, uh, most original, the old-fashioned uh, drum show. And this is Rob Cook's last one, but he'll still be it participating. Is? As the uh, owner and leader, yeah, he'll still be participating, but but this is his last hurrah with this. So wow. another reason to Far make it special. Out. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know there's going to be a lot of people there. Uh, we'll, we'll be running into a lot of old friends and colleagues. A lot of people from the industry are going to be there. Um, 
I'm very happy that I'm getting a little bit of support from Sonar and Zildjian and DW and uh, people out there that I'm affiliated with, and I'm grateful for their support. And uh, it's fascinating because when I was young, I never knew about, you know, drum clinics. To me, a clinic was a place you went if you were sick. Yeah, so hopefully I can do something which will bring something positive and good health for the drummers out there. <laughs> I have no doubt, Adam. <laughs> I have no doubt, nor would anyone yeah. else. All right, everyone, we'll see you in Chicago this weekend. And if not, we'll see you on the net. And uh, keep on keeping on. Straight ahead and strive for tone. Be safe there. Thanks. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> We can fix it in Pro Tools.